All right, so we're continuing in Matthew chapter 9, starting with verse 27. As Jesus passed by from there, two blind men followed him, calling out and saying, Have mercy on us, son of David. When he had come into the house, the blind men came to him. Jesus said to them, Do you believe that I am able to do this? Man, what a question God is asking us. Do you believe I can, I can help you? They told him, Yes, Lord. Then he touched their eyes, saying, According to your faith, be it done to you. Their eyes were open. Jesus strictly commanded them, saying, See that no one knows about this. But they went out and spread abroad his fame in all the land. And what another great example of your faith making you well. You know, we are saved by grace through faith. God wants everyone to be saved, but only those who have the faith receive it. God wants every Christian to have a, an overcoming life where they are constantly uh, living in the fruit of the Spirit, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, thoughtfulness, and self-control. But only those who live by faith live that way out. So, walk by faith. But here's the point I made. The best marketing a ministry can do is to take care of the needs of individuals. Isn't that beautiful? Jesus told them to not um, you know, tell anyone about this, and they went and told everyone. Why? Because he took care of their needs. Uh, you know, these videos, is, this is the ministry I believe God has called me to do. And who cares about numbers as long as I'm helping you or I'm helping, I'm helping one person a day and I make 200 videos a year. Man, I get to help 200 people in a year. Isn't that awesome? Who cares about numbers? It's all about helping people. And when you focus on growth, you probably don't get it. If you focus on helping people, you'll get growth. <clears throat> Verse 32. As they went out, behold, a mute man who was demon-possessed was brought to him. When the demon was cast out, the mute man spoke. The multitudes marveled, saying, Nothing like this has ever been seen in Israel. And so I put, you know, talking about the blind and talking about the, um, you know, being able to uh, speak. Jesus opens our eyes to heavenly things and allows our mouths to speak them. Isn't that beautiful? Um, man, what the, that's the greatest benefit of coming to Jesus is you get to see, you are blind spiritually, you get to see what's going on in the spiritual realm. You, you couldn't speak spiritually, but now you can speak spiritually. So this is the benefit we have by having a relationship with God. When we are born again, he opens our eyes to spiritual things and you get to see what's going on spiritually and you get to speak them. And as you study the word of God, as you get closer to God, you get to see more spiritual things and speak them. I'm so thankful that I get to see what is going on through my relationship with God and reading the Bible and hanging out with other Christians. And I'm so thankful that he's given me the ability to speak what is going on spiritually.